My experience with digital dentistry started about 10 years ago where we were doing, you know, just little single unit restorations. And now look at how far we've come. It's so exciting to see where we are now. We would never would have dreamed of being able to 3D print dentures for patients or let alone scan complete arch hybrid prosthetics in the mouth. I don't think there's a better time to be a dentist than right now. My name is Wally Rene. I am the Assistant Dean of Innovation and Digital Dentistry at the Medical University of South Carolina College of Dental Medicine. Basically, 3D printing is the way that we actually get something tangible from all our profoundly fundamental digital workflows. So, for example, we could design surgical guides, but really can't get anything useful unless we're 3D printing. Um, or, for example, if we're scanning in the mouth and we're doing diagnostic impressions, that's great to see on the computer screen, but unless you actually have something tangible on hand to show the patient, it doesn't go a long way. So 3D printing here is just critical to everything that we do. It's the it's kind of the seal at the end of all our digital workflows. One of the distinct advantages of the Sprint Ray Pro is that it has dentistry in mind when you're printing. So it's gonna preheat the resins if you're using, say, a, a Denka type denture resin. Um, the supports are, are specific to dentists and everything in the software is just perfectly catered to us. If you're gonna compare that to, say, a non-dental printer, you're gonna spend so much time tinkering with resin profiles and softwares and failed prints, it's a nightmare. So I think they've completely done something remarkable here. You know, what's what's unique about surgical guides is the, the upfront time that you spend planning the case and printing the guide, you more than make up for chair time with the patient. We're able to do implants in a third of the time that we're able to do in the past because we're doing everything fully guided and the printing process and the planning process is so simple it's, it's just a wonder why everybody's not printing guides these days. So at the university, we have over 25 different 3D printers. And I would say our workhorse printers that we use almost exclusively are the Moonray S and the Sprintray Pro. We're, we're printing all our dentures on the Sprintray Pro and we have a 100% success rate with our dentures that are printing right now. It's kind of unheard of because it's, they've just catered the, the technology to be just almost foolproof. And so we're really taking advantage of the systems that we have here. You know, I, I think if you were to ask me what's the future of dentistry, I think everybody's gonna be scanning in five years. Uh, the market penetration is, is already on a, um, almost an exponential curve up. 3D printing is the way that we could get reality from those scans. So I think everybody's gonna be printing in five years. In addition to that, stronger resins are coming out. We're gonna be able to print definitive final restorations for Crown and Bridge soon. Um, there's a lot of exciting research being done in this field and the resins are getting better and more biocompatible. And I think the sky's the limit when it comes to 3D printing.